Morning, folks, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. And it is time for another episode of the Daily Leads. It is Monday, the 5th of July, start of a new, new week, another step closer to the start of the season. Of course, we've got the so, small matter of uh, an England semi final to look forward to on Wednesday. But yeah, um, this is the Daily Leads. Listen, it's short, it's concise, it's snappy today. Not a lot happened on Sunday. I think everyone was hung over after England's valiant 4 0 battering of of Ukraine uh, Saturday night. So not a lot of news to get into, but there is still some interesting stuff. But that's enough waffle from me as always. Let's get into the video. Before we do, like, comment, notification bell, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I promise you, if we get to 5K soon, I will not mention it again until we get to 10K. All right, or close to. But let's get into the video. Well, guys, I'm really excited about this one. As I say, I fully expect Junior Furpo to be announced in the next coming days. It was reported yesterday from The Athletic and a number of news sources that he is now in England. I actually feel a bit sorry for him because the weather is shocking. Coming all the way from sunny Spain to England and he gets to sample the, the, <laughs> the rain in, in and around Leeds. But yeah, he's in England and he's in England, obviously, ahead of his 15 million euro move to Leeds United. It actually works out to be about 12.8 million. It's it's crazy stuff because I genuinely think this guy is going to be absolutely amazing under the tutelage of Marcelo Bielsa. And if you throw in the hat, we've got him for 12.8. Rafinha for 17. Bamford, what was that? Seven rising to 10. Jack Harrison, uh, 11 million. It's just crazy business by Victor Orton. He's pulled another rabbit out of the hat. We're all chasing Gallan, we were chasing Parade, we were chasing, you know, Tagliafico. We've picked up, um, you know, Junior Firpo at a cut down price. Let's not forget he was he was linked to Manchester United and Liverpool a couple of seasons back for a mooted price of around about 40 million, you know. Um, of course, he's lost his way a little bit at Barcelona, but you're going to find that when you're, when you're behind someone like Jordi Alba. It's just a fact of life, you know, it's always going to be tough to break into the side. But as I say, I fully expect some sort of announcement over the coming days. I fully expect the deal to be signed, sealed, delivered at least by Wednesday. That's the latest for me. I think we could have a bit of a, a big day tomorrow at, at Leeds United and at Ellen Road, and we may even get an announcement a little bit later on this, this evening. But we know for a fact now he is in uh, Leeds. He will have his medical tomorrow. So no doubt we might see some social media pics or, you know, some ITK stuff, little clips of him, I don't know, rocking up at four parts. You know what Leeds fans are like. But he, it looks like that's done. And I, I for one, can't wait to see him uh, pull on that, that famous white shirt. Who is Junior Firpo as well? Well, Firpo is a 24-year-old defender. He was born in the Dominican Republic. He moved to Spain at the age of six. Um, and he has actually represented Spain at youth international level. I know when Oscar did his little piece for us from All Leeds TV, he, he said how a lot of Spanish fans are now talking about, well, Firpo could make that step into the, into the international scene for them under Bielsa and this Spanish fan's actually excited about the prospect of that of him coming to Leeds and getting to work under Marcelo Bielsa which is praise in itself. Um, Firpo originally brought through at Real Betis, he joined them at the age of 18, he made 38 league appearances for the senior side before joining Barcelona in 2019 for 18 million. 38 appearances as well, guys. This is this, this gives you an indication of, of the potential that the guy's got. That's one season. One season worth in Premier League, for example. 38 games and a team like Barcelona have snapped him up. It shows you what this guy's worth. Um, and as I say, of course, he infrequently played for Barcelona just 41 times during his stint there in the last two seasons. But Jordi Alba's ahead of him. It's always going to be tough, isn't it? But I fully expect Junior Firpo to be announced, hopefully... If you're watching this dinner time, maybe in a couple of hours, but at least before uh, Wednesday, guys. Um, moving on now, we're going to move on to Lewis O'Brien. Uh, the Huddersfield United central midfielder has been linked with a move to Ellen Road. There are other Premier League clubs uh, interested. Norwich City, Newcastle United and Burnley are reportedly uh, in pursuit of the 22-year-old. And just hearing that straight away, this is no disrespect to O'Brien because he may go on to have a great career and there's no disrespect to Huddersfield and if Leeds United are in for him yeah okay fair enough but when Newcastle Norwich and Burnley are chasing him I don't want it <laughs> do you know what I mean I'm like nah that's 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 not for me it's not my uh not my kind of guy man we we 
we get him fucks from Basel. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's from, um, yeah, from Huddersfield. I don't know. Um, look, he has one year left on his deal um, at, at Huddersfield. Um, and apparently Huddersfield, you know, don't want to sell. But with him only having a year left, maybe are willing to to cash in in the highly rated central midfielder. Um, so, so we'll have to see. And of course, he'd be interested in a move to the Premier League if you're playing in the Championship. Why wouldn't you? Um, and Leeds United Live did did an article on him and just uh, explained why it would be that maybe Leeds United are interested. And uh, and they said his uh, his abundance of energy and tenacity in midfield would suit Marcelo Bielsa's style of football, showcasing his tireless work rate and gritty break up play on many occasions for the Terriers. Uh, Leeds are known for their ability to break the lines with incisive passing and fast build-up play. Uh, and of course, O'Brien's, you know, heavily adapted to a similar sort of style under um, ex-under-23s coach Carlos Corberon. Um, he's more than just a strong tackler. Um, he would be a viable option in one of the two advanced midfield spots uh, as a backup, freeing Leeds dynamic wingers with instinctive through balls. Um, although not expected, this is what they had, although not expected to dethrone their current midfield options straight away, a 22-year-old O'Brien is, is someone who could be nurtured into the Bielsa way, capable of developing into a quality midfielder. And that that's the key thing for me. Even the people that are reporting don't see him being at a stage to currently get past our midfielders. But we're already light in that area. Stuart Dallas is not a central midfielder. I fully expect when we get this new midfielder to come in, we'll eventually move Stuart Dallas out of that position because that's his, that'll be their bread and butter. Dallas is the ultimate utility man, but we have to remember that we are going to develop. Mateus Click has a stop start season again. I don't think he will. I think he'll be firing. But I don't see us bringing in O'Brien and, and, and I don't really want the move either. Um, a 22 year old, of course, young, exciting prospect, even a lot of glowing. Um, you know, claims about him. Um, but we need tried, tested, ready to go, you know. Um, and maybe that's why, again, yes, in yesterday's video, when we spoke about collecting our Carly, they don't sound tried, tested, ready to go. Nafi Hernandez does, but he's very expensive. Um, and I've seen people who know a lot more about football than me speak about Dallas, him being a, him being a, just another Stuart Dallas. And that's no disrespect, but it, is he what we need, Nandes? So we're still, for me, waiting to unearth this this main midfield man. This main midfield man, you know. Um, Leeds and Autos on record as saying he's confident um, of getting a midfielder. It'll either be on permanent or one via loan. So does that mean two options? Are they looking at one on a permanent and one on a loan option and, and weighing up the the two, which one they go for? Um but I still think we're, we're none the wiser who that midfielder is. I, I believe that. And the fact that O'Brien from Huddersfield, now Carly from Huesca, I'm not sure they fit the bill for being the one to come in and, and, and start in that midfield role. Um, unless they are just looking for a different option to click and then maybe O'Brien you know, fits that bill in terms of a bit of rotation system. But I'd like us to have a bit of a marquee signing. The three that we bring in, for me, I want them to be marquee. Junior Firpo's a my marquee signing um, or Brian Nowakali maybe not so but if they're brought in then I'm okay with it this is what I've always said you know in Bielsa we trust and I think if he has signed off on a certain player and or has signed off then I'm okay I'm okay but I'm just not quite sure if uh, O'Brien is that one and, and and the good the good lads at LUFC fan zone we know what they're like I've spoken about them a few times we had Sam on the channel just a couple of days ago in fact and uh, they've been up to their old tricks again by the way big shout out the lads the link is in the description for their podcast they've started doing an agent talk podcast and they sort me out with the image of Furp on the thumbnail as well so big shout out but LUFC fan zone actually reached out to Kevin Sharp who I believe is Calvin Phillips' agent as well former Leeds defender himself uh, and he actually said in, in regards to the Lewis O'Brien links, this is from his agent, from the horse's mouth, I'm unaware of any interest from Leeds. Many other clubs have expressed an interest in Lewis, but I've not heard anything from Leeds United. So although Leeds United Live were reporting that we're, you know, the deal may be close and we're competing with Norwich, Newcastle, Burnley, doesn't seem to be the case unless Kevin, you know, is... is playing a bit, um, you know, being a bit dodgy. I'm not sure, but he would come out and surely for his agents, for his players' sake, he would say, oh, yeah, 
they're really interested knowing that others are and that might ramp up you know wage fees and all that sort of stuff so yeah it doesn't look like lewis brown's uh, brown's gonna happen anyway um what just to finish as well guys um another one that that again the longer this rumbles on the more i think it's not going to happen and it's disappointing because a lot of leeds fans want it but the mateus kuna one I told you some itk stuff that i heard the other night that apparently Le there's troubles we heard from fabrizio romano leeds like kuna we know that uh, Ott is a fan of Kuna, has been for a while. Fabrizio Romano told us that the negotiations between Hertha, um, Hertha Berlin and uh, Leeds United were not going well. And then I heard something through the great man the other day that 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 maybe Leeds aren't confident that that d deal will be done at all. And another one that's thrown a spanner in the work is that he has now been, I did say would, um, but it's been confirmed now that he has been selected for the Olympics for brazil and um, which means he would miss pre-season he wouldn't be back in time for the start of the season against manchester united at old trafford and that's going to have a quite a big bearing for me on whether or not they bring a player in genuinely because would we as Leeds united fans want a winger coming in or a player with that potential so late in we're not going to see him we're not going to see him for a while and we know the demands that bielsa asks for and it's not even a case of the deal being done late it's the fact he would need a rest after the olympics as well um so i'm just not sure if mateus kuna and it's with he's through great teeth because i'd really like to see me you know i've spoke about rafinha and kuna on either wing and yeah it would just be amazing but i'm, I'm just not sure so look fair is going to be done it'll be done by wednesday at the latest in my opinion okay it's then what do we get next? Midfield or winger? We're going to have to watch this space, but it's going to be an exciting couple of weeks. Um, you know, plenty of links, plenty of news, and just sitting and waiting to say, right, okay, we know how quick Furpo happened. Within 24 hours, I know he's not here yet, but within 24 hours, it's like, yeah, deal done. This is how Leeds and Victor Auto work, and I'm excited for it. Um, but if you have any 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 tidbits, anyone in the know, please do get in touch. But thank you, as always, for watching the Daily Leeds. I'll be back on Tuesday and Wednesday, of course, doing the Euro 2020 watch-alongs. So make sure you join me for that as well. Uh, but have an amazing week. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment and get your notification bell smashed. Um, and, and and I think Connor's back as well on the rumour mill. So so make sure you check him out as well. He's, he's got well. I know a lot of you were reaching out to me, asking me. He is now well. So yeah, uh, make sure you check him out as well. So thank you, as always, for tuning in. I'm going to stop talking now. Peace out. Have a great day. Peace